Hey, what's up you guys? JBR3 Collector here with another unboxing video. This is like my third one in a month. This is crazy. Um, got a lot more stuff again, so getting impatient. Mostly, it's mostly, I could just done one big unboxing video, but I'm impatient. I want to open my toys. So, start off first here. Found this at GameStop. It was uh, discounted. Got the retro, retro Mysterio finally. I like the colors better on this. Um, I like. I actually didn't. I actually liked the green on the gloves and the boots because that's more classic. This is more of a '90s style. Um, and I like the purple cape better. The other one, just the green. The green is so much nicer on this, and the dome is nicer too. But can't wait to open this. Actually, I'll, you know I'll open this right now. I don't care about the retro packaging. Mysterio. Cool, huh? I hate this red cape. I don't know why they give Mysterio a red cape. It's like it's stupid. He wears purple. Villains don't wear red. Villains wear purple. Green and purple. Most villainous colors. This. I opened this one already, that's right, because um, this was something I ordered on eBay, and then my order got canceled, so I thought I wasn't going to get it, but I got it, and here it is. See what it is? It is my first fabric cloth cape for an action figure. And I started off going big with Spawn. Uh, if you know me, I don't. You know I don't like the uh, Kickstarter spawn, so I didn't. This is obviously this could be for Kickstarter spawn. But I'd rather sell that and get money for it because uh, I'd rather not keep it in my collection. But this would go great on my 10th anniversary spawn, which is outdated now. It'd be nice to get a new classic spawn that isn't the Kickstarter spawn for this to go on. But I've already tested it. It already looks really good on. On uh, the anniversary spawn, and I'll show that in the video, end of the video here. So stay, stay tuned until the end. But it's really cool, and it also came with a chain. It's a really long chain. It's probably a good thirty inches. Um, it has bendy wire in the tips of it, but not like in the middle. So like, it'd be cool if bendy wire went all the way through. I might try to do that myself. Put some bit more bendy wire in there and make it fully posable chain. I don't like these big spikes at the end of it either. I don't know. Spike's cool, but that's a little bit huge, a little bit too big of a spike. But yeah, this is awesome. This is awesome. I love this thing. This is the only thing I opened before this video. Um, I didn't know if it was actually coming. I just wanted to see. Um, I've been messing with it. It had for like a couple weeks now, so I've had, I've had plenty of time to mess with it. And it's really, it's really awesome. It's the only thing I've repacked, but this made me fall in love with the cloth cape idea. People have been doing that for years, but it's new. It's new, new for me. So, okay, next, sticking with the spawn for a minute. I picked up the the red Mandarin spawn. I'm not gonna crack this guy open right now because I, I don't know how much how fragile McFarlane figures are. Um, but that would be, eh, can't talk. Thought that would go good next to the uh, 10th anniversary spawn with the fabric cape. Just, you know, if on my um, it would go good on my uh, indie comic figure shelf, which is what I have. It's a very small shelf right now. I just, a lot of things I need, especially with some older figures like I need to get the pit builder figure and stuff like that. <sighs> money though, lots of money though. I decided I'm gonna open this anyways. So. At least take that out of this box. If you know me, you know I'm really not a fan of McFarlane toys. I think their toys are really not fun. Like they're not good. Like the DC figures look god awful to me, man. They look horrible. Like these uh, Mattel when they had the DC license, 
their figures were, 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 were god awful. But those things make the McFarlane figures. But the, 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 the McFarlane figures make those things look amazing. That's how I feel. The McFarlane figures are god awful. This guy is cool. Look at this guy. It's kind of blurry, but this guy is badass. I like this. I know nothing about Mandarin Spy. I mean, I know he's. I think he made his first appearance in uh, Spawn number one sixty five. And he, I just know he looks cool. I know he's he's one of the um, ancient spawns because the, the hell spawns have been a thing for countless millennia in the Image Comics universe. Um, so it's just one of many spawns that have existed. Hope we get a medieval spawn soon. That'd be badass. But honestly, I mostly want a good classic spawn because that 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 Kickstarter one's really not a good figure it's really not good at all but so you guys watching me fumble around with weapons in a figure's hand you got spiky fingers it hurts to get this thing in his hand man there you go it's badass pretty badass i like that and next to mysterio here off to the side okay next up these figures I'm not going to crack open because they're not for me. They're for a friend. Um, but I found the new G.I. Joe Classified series Lady J. Right? Yeah. And and Flint. These are for my friend Plastic Addict. Uh, George Johnson, Plastic Addict. It's for my buddy. Here you go, man. I'm going to ship these out in a couple days here. So that's for you. Um, G.I. Joe. Had to, like, the figures are really cool. I own Gung Ho. I used him for a uh, for a Reaver, but uh, hey, these look cool, but not for me. Not G Joe's. Don't do it for me. Okay, next, next package from Target. Um, there's a ton of bubble wrap in here. Sure. Amber Collection Anadon. That's cool. Um, I don't use these with my other dinosaur figures because I like my dinosaur figures to be realistic. Um, but these work great with my comic figures, like for a Savage Land, because comic style dinosaurs don't need to be realistic. So. I'm not really going hard on these Jurassic Park figures. I just buy the ones that I think would work for a Savage Land display. Um, I love Jurassic Park. I do. I just have a thing. I don't like buying. I don't like, I don't like movie figures. So, you know, maybe I'll get to go off the source eventually. I don't know. But for now got the one turret on and the first raptor they did that's pretty cool that's pretty big wingspan it's probably a good 14 inches wingspan these guys are pretty articulated too you know i'm digging it i like it they go good next to like sauron and stuff for a savage land display you know and the wings are bendy wire Watched a review of this a couple days ago, so you can almost, from what I saw, you can almost fold it to where you can. You can if this is stay up like this, you can do a walking pose on the ground, but you can't get it to stay like that. It goes like that instead, which isn't horrible. But this is awesome. This is awesome. I love it. Hate that the Tyrannons in the Jurassic Park franchise have teeth in their mouth. Tyrannon literally means toothless wing. It's named because it has no teeth <laughs> and it has wings, but whatever. It's funny. It's, it's just funny to me. And mo most fictional media, pterosaurs, pteranodon specifically, always has teeth. There are pterosaurs that have teeth, just not pteranodon. It's not one of them. Okay, next package. This is from eBay from GPS Slot. Um, or GP slot, GPS slot, GP slot. 
what would you, what would you call your name? So, knowing what, if you guys know who GPS Law is, I don't even know because of just Jay Hernandez. Shout out to that guy. Um, you know they do fabric soft goods for figures. Um, and I'm sorry, doing a thing where I want to change, I want to make every figure I own have cloth goods. So I'm going to be doing that from now on. Right, so this order, I got three. I'm going to do, I'm going to buy a little bit here and there um, to slowly build up to it. Um, eventually I'll um, have every figure in my collection with a cloth kids cape. So first off here, you got a purple cape. Who, who has a purple cape in Marvel Legends? Uh, yeah, <laughs> lots of people actually, but two specifically, I think, come to mind immediately. I can't get it out. It's kind of fitting though, I got a spawn cape um, and, the, and this guy's cape at the same time because they were kind of drawn, when they were drawn by Todd McFarlane, they were drawn very similarly with the way their cape flew. Uh, but this is a Prowler cape. And I'll go grab my Prowler figure to do a, a video to do a pictures with him with this cape in the, in, later on. But that's pretty cool, huh? I like the material he used. That's awesome looking. And then cape number two is... Also hard to get out. No, easier to get out than another one. I like the material on this too. Wow. It's a blue cape. It's for one of my favorite Avengers. It's for Black Knight. I like it. It's pretty cool. These are awesome. I'm, I'm really glad I started buying these. It's a big cape for Black Knight, but man, it's, it'll be worth it. That's going to be cool to have, him, have it on, on him. Again. I'll pull him off the shelf and show him, show him with that cape soon. And this third cape is actually for a character I don't even have a figure of at the moment. But I will have a figure of soon. Um, getting it custom made to make him better. Um, his gladiator's cape. Um, yeah, I, I, I didn't like how small the Marvel Legends Gladiator was. So I was getting a custom made of him. Um, haven't gotten it yet. But for now, this would work good on my Count Nefaria custom. And so that'd be cool. This will work. This will be cool. And I'll, I'll show that off in the video as well. Okay. And I got one more package. And then we are out of here. I got to get back to work. Um, this package comes to us from Coffin Comics. So, if you guys know who Coffin Comics is, and you should immediately know what this figure is, um, she'll go, uh, spoiler, it says she, uh, she'll go pretty close to Spawn in my display, because it's a indie comic thing, um, yeah. Here's the plastic. Pull the plastic off. You guys are going to see it before me here. How does that look? All those plastic over it is in there. It's probably hard to kind of blur. Shiny. But yeah, that looks good. Man. Lady Death. I'm not a super huge Lady Death fan. I mean, I think people who are late, huge Lady Death fans are kind of creepy people. Creepy guys. <laughs> Not to be a dick or anything, um, but uh, I just don't, most people aren't uh, laid. People who people who like anime and stuff, like big boobs and anime, those are people who usually like Lady Dead. Um, I don't like anime. I don't like. I mean, I like big boobs, but I don't like. I'm not on the toys. I don't. You know, I don't like gawking at my action figures. I just want the character because I, I actually have a couple comics in her. Um, on my, I'm real cheap, but, uh, so, be cool, I'm just trying to build up my Marvel, my action figure library of, for just comic figures in general, I would love to have, like, a ton 
of comic figures. Any anything, any comic figure I could get. Like I would love more DC figures, but DC figures suck. Said that there's more indie, more good indie, indie comics figures than there are DC. There's that. Here's her scythe. Sickle, whatever. Her leg. Well, that that's shitty. She's broken. Right out of package. Leg broke. Well, that's a disappointment. I didn't even like I I just picked her up and it was broken. I didn't even I didn't even pose her yet. But put that there and and she looks good. Just broken leg. Might contact them, see if they can get a replacement. Um or I could just glue it. Damn, that's disappointing. That's a really big bummer. I thought she had a cloth cape for some reason. I might have to give her a cloth cape once I get to get around to it. But man, that's a bummer. She looks good. Cool. She looks good though. I'm trying to make it clear. There you go. Yeah. Damn. That really sucks. Okay, well, and that's the end of this uh, unboxing portion of this video. Stay tuned to see more pictures with the uh, cloth capes on the figures. Um, and but again, thank you guys for watching. I'm not going to be able to talk to you during that segment. But thank you guys for uh, watching. I really appreciate it. I don't get a ton of views on these videos, but for those of you who do watch them, I really appreciate it. Um, you guys mean a lot to me. So um, until next time. Another unboxing video in a couple weeks here, maybe two weeks. So stay tuned. Catch you guys later. Peace. Hey y'all! I know I just said bye, and <laughs> but uh, decided to, to add on to this video instead of uh, just ending it there. Waited a couple more days, got some more stuff. I was just impatient, man. I just wanted to open my stuff. You know, you know how it is. Um, so I just waited a couple more days. Oh, got a few more boxes. Thought about not even doing another unboxing video because um, I don't get many views on them. Um, but I, views don't matter to me anyways. Fuck it. So I cut this box open already. Got this box yesterday from Dorkside Toys. This is my first time ever ordering from Dorkside Toys too. Um, but I got one Iron Man and two Iron Mans. And one from my Hall of Armor and one from my Avengers. That gold armor. You probably you can see it back there. Um, that's going on my, uh, hall of armor too. So, armory, build, getting built up there. Two Iron Mans. Um, thanks Dorkside Toys. Appreciate that. That you guys sent these out to me so quickly. Um, and you know me, I'm not using, this. I'm not going to use this, uh, AI head. This AI head can go straight in the trash can, because... Classic only, bro. It's awesome. I love this. I love how this looks so much. Um, only problem with it is I wish the eyes and the mouth didn't have blue and the chest and that didn't have blue. So I'll paint those yellow and paint those black. It'd be so much better. But yeah, classic Iron Man. Happy. Thank you, Dorkside Toys. This next package. Also comes from Dorkside Toys. They should be in an, in an envelope this time. Okay. Dorkside Toys order. And it's the hide build a figure. And it's awesome that they did not assemble it for me because the best not the best part about a build a figure, best part is having it in my collection. But the best uh, the, one of the best parts about a build a figure is building my figure. So, um, let's pop this bad boy open. Never untying things is for the week, man. <laughs> so 
Sorry, I got too close to the camera there. Um, so here's his torso. There's the leg. That's going to be that leg. I heard people, I heard people I had trouble popping these legs on. So let's see. Man. That was easy as hell, guys. People who are saying it's hard are tripping. And then this leg. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, it's easy as hell. People tripping, man. People major tripping. Let's see, we got arm here. Oh, sorry, I wasn't doing it on camera. My bad, my bad. Um, sorry, I had a pretty good day at work today. <laughs> pretty chill. I got all these packages have me excited as hell, too, especially the last one I'm going to open here. Um, what a great way to end the month, right? Man. Where does Kang go? His cane fell somewhere, but anyways, there's Hyde. <laughs> Not my preferred look for Hyde. I'd rather have a classic Hyde. This one looks like a giant leprechaun. But, uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, he kind of looks like a giant leprechaun to me a little bit, which, I mean, leprechauns are cool, but, yeah, I would have a classic Mr. Hyde. I'm actually getting three of this builder figure. <laughs> I'm getting one for the Masters of Evil, one for the Thunderbolts, and then one to go on like the, the, the Daredevil villain section. So, that's cool. I like him. I actually have a second hide. I'm buying, I bought a second hide today. Um, so, next package. This one actually came. It was untaped when I got it in the mail. It's kind of like the figure's still in here. Um, but, uh, this one here. I saw it on Facebook Marketplace actually, um, so it's kind of funny. But uh, got a custom Magneto. I like it better than the three pack one we got. So it uses the Grim Reaper body or the or the red the Red Guardian body. Um, it's not great Magneto. It's only seventeen bucks, but it's it's you know it's decent. It's good enough. Um, I might swap the arms out for the three pack one. Put a different helmet on it, different cape on it, make it make it better. But there you go, custom Magneto. Fun, 17 bucks, can't beat that. Okay, I'm back, my uh, camera died. Or my, not my camera, my uh, phone ran out of storage space, so, back. And now I'm under the last package here. And the last package is the most exciting package, and I don't have a damn knife. Who needs a knife? I'm gonna rip this thing open. Look how big this box is. <laughs> it's huge. It's huge. You might say it's dino-sized. Ooh, spoiler. Just rip it off. <laughs> you know, if you know me, I'm gonna put this box in the ground. If you know me, you know uh paper. You know I love dinosaurs. You know I love dinosaurs. You know I work with dinosaurs. I'm a I, I work as a paleontological technician. I make cast one one scale cast dinosaurs for museums. Um so these are the, so these are dinosaur figures. Best dinosaur figures on the market. Thank you, Creative Beast Studios, for getting these out to me so quickly. Um, maybe someday I'll be good enough to get review samples early, huh? <laughs> um, anyways, so first up, we have you looking at it before me, Ainosaurus. Man, and these are all going to be Ceratopsids, the horned dinosaurs. Um, and it was really exciting. I, I, I ordered every single one of them, so I'm going to be getting all of them eventually. This is wave two. Wave one I got back in December. I did a video on that back then. Um, wave three is going to be coming in September, and then it's on to the Kickstarter for the Tyrannosaurus. So, anyways, one Deceratops. Oh, dropped it. And yeah, Wendy's horn face. Man, I'm just so excited. I can't wait to crack these things open. This box came when I was at work, and I just wanted to open it so bad all day. I want to get these things open. Is Avaceratops? I wanted to get these open all day to play with these. So these are, I love Marvel Legends. I do. Marvel Legends are my, are, 
I'd say overall my favorite toy line. But these figures are incredible. I, I, I these might be better than Marvel Legends in my opinion. I, I know I love Marvel Legends, but I love dinosaurs more. Believe it or not, I love Marvel dinosaurs. It's pretty equal, but man, everybody has Marvel Legends. These make, make me. I feel a little more unique collecting these. Anyways, Regaliceratops. Regaliceratops. Yeah, I can't wait to open these up. I'll post the I'll, end of the video. I'll put pictures of them. Um, these are all different sizes too. Not all different sizes, but you'll see in a second here. Uh, they get real big in a second here. And then we got Cosmoceratops. Some of you might think, oh, such options, they all look similar, but they really don't. They actually have a lot of some different differences in their frills. I mean, they're similar. They all have horns in their face and frills, but they're, the way they're all set up is different. You'll see at the end of the video, hopefully. Um, we got Spike Lipius, Spike Lipius. I can never get this dinosaur's name right, even though I, I, can, literally, I can literally make casts of this dinosaur at work. I, uh, my, my boss actually discovered this dinosaur. Um, but, uh, yeah, I can't, uh, I always get the name wrong on that guy. I always get corrected saying it's the opposite of what I said. So, and then here's one of the big boys. We got Packy Rhinosaurus. It's for a scale. Like, here's Packy and here's Spec Lipius. Here's Packy and here's. Uh, oh, dropping everything. Packy and here's both bigger Mr. Hyde. Like, <laughs> These are, it's a big figure, man. It's a big figure. It's incredible looking. Man, I can't wait to open these. I want to open these so bad. I, I don't have time to do it right now. I got to go to a party. But man, look at that. Okay, and we got one more here. It's another big boy. We got Centrosaurus. Yeah, man, he's a killer. I'm so excited. If you can't, if you can't tell, I'm really excited about these figures. Um, but anyways, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. I I already did my my uh, tag out like ten minutes ago, probably. But uh, do it again. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys. I love the views. I love I love. I love, watch, I love having people watch my videos. I love commenting people comments. I love talking to people. Um, hit me up on Facebook if you don't want to talk on YouTube. I don't care. I love talking to people. I love these figures. I love what I do. I love making videos even though no one watches them. I don't care. Thank you guys for watching for those of you who did. And uh, stay tuned for more eventually. Maybe I'll show off some customs eventually. I've been doing a lot of custom work lately. We'll see. Catch you guys later. Peace.